Hello everyone, my name is Yash and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing everything you need to know about JavaScript promises. Many programmers struggle understanding promises, but don't worry, I'm going to make it really simple and easy to understand for you. Before we get started, let me brief you on promises. Promises are used to handle asynchronous operations in JavaScript. Example of asynchronous operations are fetching data from database, downloading image from internet, and so on. JavaScript promises are easy to manage when dealing with multiple asynchronous operations, where callbacks can create callback hell, leading to difficulty in managing code. JavaScript promises are similar to real life promises. Let me give you an example. When Amazon promises to deliver your package in two days, they have made you a commitment to deliver on time. If they are able to deliver on time in order to fulfill their commitment, then we can safely say that their promise was fulfilled. In JavaScript promises, this scenario is called resolve. Similarly, if they fail to deliver, we can say that they failed to keep their promise. In JavaScript promise, this scenario is called reject. Let's start by looking at promise syntax. So first I will go ahead and create a constant let's say user and say new promise. This requires function as a parameter. So I will do this and function in itself requires two parameter. First is resolve, another is reject and this. If you are confused by this error syntax, just check out my video where I cover error function because it is extremely straightforward and it's easier to write function in this manner. After you are done checking it out, Let's move along. So three things need to happen here. First, do something, right? Perform some operation. Did the operation succeed? So success scenario. And then we have a failure scenario. Same thing, right? So let's do something. For user, let's uh, imitate fetching user from database. So we'll say user fetched from DB. And here we can say false. For now, let's just say false. And we will check here, right, whether uh, we successfully fetch the user or not. So if user was successfully fetched from database, we will resolve. And here you can pass in anything for now. Let's just have a success message. Else, if it fails, we will reject. And here we will say failure. Let's try to use this promise, right? So we'll do user dot then. Once again, arrow function and message, and we can do this and just log it out. And we can say message and catch, same thing, uh, error, and we'll just log it out. And if I save this, uh, you can see it right here. It says failure because user was uh, we fail to fetch user from database. Basically, reject scenario is mapped to catch right here, right? So if I say here, let's do this here, uh, we can say catch and comma. You can see it says catch failure, right? And for this, let's remove this. We don't need that. And here we can say uh, then and message right here okay so if i flip this right so resolve like uh, success condition is mapped to then and failure condition is mapped to catch so if i flip this if i make it true let's see what happens then we get success right now as i told you earlier you can pass in anything you want here so here let's go ahead and pass an object right we can have status success then uh, as we were able to fetch the user from the database, it will have ID, let's say user one, and let's say uh, we get user's name as well. Let's do foobar, okay? And if I save this right now, you will get all this stuff right here. So this is how you use promises. Once again, then is mapped to success scenario uh, which means resolve and catch is mapped to failure scenario, which means reject and promise. Now let's take a look at an example 
where callbacks are used and migrate them to use promises. Let's start by taking a look at an example of a function where we are returning callbacks. So here we have two callbacks, success and failure, where we are checking for two constants, is key inserted here and did engine start. So right now, both, both of them are true, so it will trigger this success callback. And as you can see here, it says engine, let's go. Let's make this one false. In this scenario, it will trigger this failure callback and let's save it. And you can see engine is not starting. And here we can make it false as well. And we can see, please insert key in your car. This is how we are using this function. Basically, we are passing in function here. And uh, so this is our success uh, right here and failure is right here. Now, let's convert this function into a promise. So I will copy this and paste it right here so that we can see them side by side and just say promise right here. And, and just return promise here, return new promise. And we need two parameters, resolve and reject. And we will do this right here and I will move all of my code inside this promise. So for failure, we know it's going to be reject and let's do reject right here. And for success, we know it's going to be resolve. Okay, now how do we go about using it, right? So we will, I will comment this out and you know, we can delete this so that it's cleaner. And here, let's try to change this to use promise, right? So here we will do start engine promise, call the function, then, so this is going to be our success scenario. And here we will say message and we will log it out. So CLG message dot catch and error, CLG error. So this both are similar. This is using promise and let's save it and see if it works. I will remove this. Let's just comment it out. And when we save it, wow, it says, please insert key in your car. If we make this true, it says engine is not starting. Uh, this is still our reject scenario. And if I make this true as well, this is our success scenario using promises. Now, you see the problem here, right? So with promises, if you have multiple things that you need to take care of, there will be just extra promises, uh, extra then statements right here, right? But with callbacks, you will end up having nested uh, functions and a lot of indentation. So that's the problem which promise is trying to solve. From this video, we learned that promises offer us a elegant solution to the problem of callback hell. If you like this video, do consider subscribing for future videos. Thank you. Until next time.